When we first saw the artwork, the artist actually tried since then to change a few things around and make them look nice. And it wasn't nice that we wanted. We wanted them to look odd and a bit strange and, and you know, um, because that's the sort of idea that the song conjures up. So we actually made him go back to the original idea. You know, when you're writing a song, you're trying to create a mood or um, some imagery or something kind of in your mind when you're writing words and stuff like that. And that in turn creates imagery for like the album artwork and for videos and stage sets and everything. I think in general that uh, I've, I've detected uh, quite a quite an appetite for a little bit of little bit of variance and a little bit of change in the maiden sound. They're actually quite pleased when we come up with something that's that's not just different for the sake of being different, but that's also displays a bit of imagination and a bit of flair. I think we're just playing better than ever. I think the band is sounding better than ever. Um, you know, we're all a bit older and wiser. You know give each other a bit more space and it's just great you know it's bit for me it's you know it's better than it and it, it was the first time you know the the dance of death tour I'm really looking forward to thus far um, we've got an extensive tour up till Christmas going through all of uh, um, all of Europe uh, and then in January, February, and March, we're basically going to be covering everywhere else. You know, we just get new young fans all the time. It's amazing. And there's like three generations of uh, fans out there. And some of the fans weren't even born when we did the first album. It's pretty scary. And um, it's great because, you know, the young ones at the front driving around and jumping about and going berserk. And then the audience gets older as it goes back. And, um, but, you know, it's, it's incredible. We still keep getting new young fans. It's very healthy for the band. I suppose they probably pass their albums down to their younger brothers or even their kids or whatever. And uh, long may it continue to happen, is what I say. Passchendaele is going to be a sort of monumental track and um, musically there's a lot, so much stuff going on in there so you have to really like knuckle down and, 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 and live, you know, to get all this, this song correct. It's going to be, it's a, uh, be a big achievement. It's also a challenge for us, I think, to go and play a lot on the material. You know, um, we could go out and play a best off set all the time and, and that's the easy way out, but um, that's not the way we work. There will actually be a big, big segment of the show when uh, the body language and the music will carry the whole thing. Whatever we take from this album, they, they each, each song is so strong in its own right. As Dave said, it's very, you know, Dance of um, Passchendaele's very, very epic y, um, like Dance of Death, even, you know. That's quite, that's going to be quite um, a challenge live. Yeah. Um, but um, any of the, of the new stuff is, I think, it's going to fit, fit so well into the new, the new stage show that we're going to do. For Maiden, the two worlds of the album world and performing world have actually become separate. That they, they, they used to depend upon one another. You couldn't go out and do some gigs if you didn't have an album. Well, that's manifest nonsense, and we just played to 700,000 people without a record. Um, at the same time, if you put a record out, people expect a few gigs. But you can, there's a variety of ways of promoting a record. I don't think Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden fans would be really happy uh, if they got a new record. And if they get lots of, some gigs as well, then terrific. You know, Maybe we'll just do one or two shows for really hardcore fans. Maybe we will decide to go out and go, you know what, let's incorporate a, a festival tour and do a new album on it as well. 
We get asked the question of longevity many times, and I always say the same thing really: that it, uh, you know, if you could, if you knew the secret of why we're still around, then we'd bottle it and sell it. And I really don't know. I think it's the sort of thing that you have to go and ask the fans as to why we're still popular and everything. But I, I like to think it's the, it's, uh, it's great songs and, and great live shows. We've toured live, you know, for many years now. We've done so many world tours. And when we do a world tour, we really do one. I mean, we do you know anything between sort of seven and twelve months at a time, and uh, we do lots of them. And um, I think that really these days it's got to be quality and not quantity. I think you get to a point where um, we have to be realistic that you know we can't physically go and do um, you know six nights a week everywhere for nine months. At the end of the day, it's very tough. And I think that in the future. We'll just we'll be cutting the tours down probably to you know three or four months rather than you know nine months. Short bursts of touring is much more enjoyable, and you find you can focus on it um, and give it 100 percent you know every night. We want to keep it fresh. We want to keep it real and honest and alive. And the best way of doing that is to be real and honest with everybody um, who supports Iron Maiden. Thank you.